Singapore Port Sector and New Mega Port Project. Singapore's new port is ambitious to become the world's number one port after its completion in 2040, with budget about $15 billion. Singapore or Republic of Singapore get independence from the United Kingdom and Malaysia in 1965. By 1982, Singapore had become the world's busiest port by shipping tonnage, achieving 1 million container. In 2020 for Singapore port currently the world's second busiest port. And some information about Cambodia will be compared, which will help provide a better understanding of Singapore from Cambodian perspective. Singapore has a total land area of approximately 750 square kilometers, which is smaller than the land area of Shihanoukville province in Cambodia, approximately 2,536 square kilometers. In 2024, Singapore's GDP is projected to reach approximately $520 billion, with an estimated population of 6 million. In comparison, Cambodia's GDP is only around $35 billion with an estimated population of 16 million. Singapore's GDP ranks among the top 30 globally. Certainly, the economy of Singapore is a highly developed mixed market economy with dirigist characteristics, which system the government has a lot of control over a country's economy. Seaport sector is one key drivers of the economy along manufacturing and tourism. Singapore port currently the world's second busiest port in terms of total shipping tonnage, it also trends ships of the world's shipping containers, half of the world's annual supply of crude oil. Container reaching a new record of about 39 million in 2023. The port sector generates approximately $7 billion in revenue. According to port operator, PSA International, their net profit for 2023 was about $1.11 billion. Certainly, the Port of Singapore is a remarkable success story, and its continued prominence can be attributed to several factors. 1. Strategic Location it's a maritime gateway between the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. It serves as a crucial hub for ships transiting between Europe, Asia, and Oceania. 2. Free Port Status Port of Singapore has operated as a free port, welcoming vessels from all nations equally. This openness has encouraged international trade and shipping activities. 3. Efficient infrastructure, Singapore has invested significantly in port facilities, including container terminals, berths, and logistics services. Port Sector S contributes approximately 7% to Singapore's GDP and provides around 170,000 jobs. Singapore has strategic plans to maintain its position as a global leader. With the volume of shipping and trade flowing through Singapore continues to grow significantly. As a result, innovation in Singapore's ports is crucial. In February 2015, the construction of the new Tuas Port project began which consists of four phases. The initial budget for Tua's port is approximately $15 billion. The first phase commenced operations in December 2021 and when fully operationalized by 2027. The entire project is expected to be completed by 2040. Once finished, Tua's port will position itself as the world's largest fully automated port.
While China and Shanghai currently hold the number one spot, it's worth noting that Shanghai's port can handle 50 million containers annually. In contrast, Tu's port upon completion will have the capacity to handle 65 million containers. As a result, Singapore's new port could become the world's number one port. Singapore continues to develop and remains one of the top countries in the world. Furthermore, Singapore has recently changed leader. New Prime Minister Lawrence Wong was sworn in on 2023 as its fourth premier since independence. He pledged to lead with humility and a deep sense of duty towards Singapore and its 5.9 million people. He promised to devote every ounce his energy to them. This is good sign for port sector and for Singapore's overall economy.